Hi guys. <laughs> feel like I haven't filmed in a minute. You guys probably had a video up or something that I haven't filmed in a minute. So let's do this. So this is gonna be a chit chat. Get ready with me. Haven't done one of these. I only did one and it seems like you guys really liked it. So let's do it again. Um disregard my hair. I don't know if I'm gonna do my hair in this video, but just disregard this shit, you know? Alright, let's start. So, gonna start off with moisturizer, of course. Um, but yesterday, I went out with my friend. Oh, and sorry about this elephant in the room. We're gonna get him taken care, care of. Um, first, let me tell you what happened. This. So, my nose is always itching. Like, always itching when the seasons change. I don't know why. You know how your hands start itching and you just really don't know why because it's an odd place for something to itch? My nose was doing the exact same thing. So, what I did was I kept doing like this until I created a burn. And this is pretty much a burn, burn mark. Pretty much. So, yeah. We're going to try to get this covered up and looking a little decent. But, yeah. Back to what I did yesterday. So, me and my friend had a girls day. And I, we, pre we went to brunch, we went to the movies to see The Perfect Guy, and we went out. So, it was a pretty eventful night. You guys should really follow me on Snapchat, because I, like, snapped the whole entire day, and it was cool. It was, like, so fun, so much fun. So, yeah. What are we going to start with? I think we're going to do the browns. Alright, so I'm going to use Liam's coin. But, um, yeah, I've been, I've been good. Um, my job is about to pick up some more, so you guys will probably see a dip in my, um, the amount of videos I'm posting again. So I'm sorry about that, but I'll try to pre-film on the weekends and stuff for you guys. But... For this video, I wanted to pretty much talk to you guys about being single and living alone and kind of how I do it. Because I hear a lot of people like, oh my gosh, how do you live alone, da 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 and you're single, da 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 I'm like, that bitch gotta survive, I mean, it's the way I like to live my life. <laughs> I graduated May 2013 and I started my first job in Atlanta um, out of college, which is the same job I'm still at. I started there in July. So I was only out of school for like two months. And if you guys want to know like how to get a job or something like that after college, if you want me to post a video like that, I can. I'm actually a recruiter. so. I get you guys jobs so I, I pretty much know a little bit about how to get a job and interviewing because that's all I do all day so if you want a video on that let me know and I can get that for you guys I need, I need something to conceal man I need a brush I interviewed on a Friday and they wanted me to start working on Monday I lived two hours from Atlanta so I literally had to just Get an apartment. Literally, right after the interview, after my drug test, I had to get an apartment and all of that <clears throat> and move in that weekend. What did I do to that? But I had to do it. I had to do it. I mean, I had to do what I had to do. So, I went, found an apartment, cheap apartment. It was super close, though, to my job. So, I was like, whatever. And it was literally the most... Well, it wasn't an amazing apartment. It was cheap. I never said it was a good apartment. I said it was cheap. <laughs> um, and by cheap, I mean, like, not really, really cheap. But it was, like, 700 a month. And in Atlanta, you know, that's good. And it was, like, in Sandy Springs, which is North Atlanta. So it was really good to find that in that area. I got that apartment, and it, it had a gas stove, which I don't like. Just because I don't like the smell of gas. And I just really don't like... I just don't like it, okay? I would rather have a flat top stove any day of the week. Because I don't want to have to pay for a gas bill either. Because you have to pay for Georgia Power and a gas bill. And I was not about that life. 
because I only had like refund check money saved and that was it. It never got surreal. I was talking to my friend. I was like, it never got surreal. It wasn't like I hit the point in my life where I was like, oh my God, I'm living alone and I'm afraid. It never got to that point. I don't know, maybe because before I moved there, I was living up, I was kind of living alone. Like I had a roommate, um, but he was like one of my friends from high school. So it wasn't really like a roommate and we never really saw each other. So I don't know. And I had a house too. It wasn't an apartment. So it was cool. I do not want a roommate anymore because I have so many roommate horror stories like a lot of roommate horror stories okay and I literally just had to make it work my salary I was literally making what $12 an hour and living in a $700 apartment and on top of that you had to pay Georgia power bill and cable if you want that um, internet if you want that um, water was included in that 700 and something though so yeah long story short that was my financial thing at the time and I bet you guys like how in the heck did you live by yourself in Atlanta $700 a month rent only making $12 an hour it makes sense though but I mean like I don't understand why people don't think that they can live alone off $12 an hour I was more than enough fine. You just have to make some sacrifices. I didn't get cable. What in the hell am I looking for? Um, but I lived there for a couple of months just until, well, until my lease was up. I, I signed a six months lease, I think. Did I sign a six month or like, never mind, it probably was a whole year. But anyway, so I lived there until I can get my cake up. I was like, I'm just gonna get a place until I get my cake up and stuff and save money. So I literally saved money. Like I said, I didn't get cable or any of that because, I don't know, didn't need it. As you can literally live on your own. It, do, it just takes a little sacrifice. Like I was sacrificing a whole paycheck just to live by myself. Like I just, in my brain, I put it out as I don't have but one check per month to do whatever I want to do. So it kind of worked out in my brain. So that's what you guys need to do. You really need to make sacrifices sometimes. And everybody's like, don't you get lonely sometimes or something? And I'm like, not really. <laughs> I, if I'm not working, I'm doing YouTube. And if I'm not doing that, then I'm probably out with my friends. If I get some time to go out with my friends, which is rare because between YouTube and my job, girl, you ain't got time. You ain't got time to do nothing. Like, I don't even dance anymore. I don't know if you guys know, but I used to be a choreographer uh, at my university, but I don't even dance anymore because I don't have time. I literally don't have time to do anything. I'm just going to burst open because I don't have time to do as much as I think I do. I just pretty much do what I gotta do. Sometimes you literally just gotta do what you gotta do, suck it up. Don't sit here and complain about what you don't have. Realize what you do have and just go on with your life. Cause I can't sit here and talk about and think about all the people that's probably pissed me off in life and everything that's been going on and stuff like that. I can't sit here and dwell on that I have to just kind of live. Just realized I want some tape to get a really cut, you know, really straight line there. So I'm just taking tape on the back of my hand, getting it from being so sticky. Sometimes the people aren't meant to be in your life. Just realize they're not meant to be there and keep it moving. There's no reason to sit here and dwell on anything. It's me, I was in a relationship and I'm glad I got the heck up out of it because it was one of the worst decisions I've ever made. It ruined a lot of things for me. And maybe I'll talk about that in another video, but it's literally like if I tell this story, people are going to be like, girl, you got to be lying. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how I feel about it, the whole situation damn movie sometimes you do have to go through trials and tribulations to get through a lot of this 
stuff that God put in path for you. And it's made me, a lot of things make me a better person. I'm telling you guys, I would not be who I am today if it wasn't for a lot of the bad things that happened in my life. And I do know that now. And it's me knowing that that happened and knowing that it had to happen for me to get to this point. It's what's going to make you a better person. Being alone, living alone and being single, trust me, it's, it's it's a great experience. Like, it's it's nothing that I feel ashamed to say. Like, it it makes me who I am. It's just, a, it's very liberating. If you find yourself in a rut that you don't know how to get out of and you feel like the people around you aren't making things better, Maybe it's time you just venture out on your own. And that's not a bad thing. It's really not. You can do it. Trust me. Like I said, I did it. Off of $12 an hour, you can do it. Like, I'm sure you can. This is my little sample of the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I'm trying it out. But actually, no, girl. You ain't primed your face. Let's prime with Smashbox. Let's prime. But yeah, guys, like I was saying, living alone is not bad at all. You just kind of got to be like, you got to know how to budget, number one. Be self-sufficient, you know, like making sure things are done, keep your doors locked, you know, have good responsibility. And you can do it. I think everybody needs to learn how to live by themselves before living with someone else. So you get to know yourself completely so that when you come in a relationship, then you can you know, bring all of you to them and, you know, kind of have your own stuff so that, like, if it don't work, you know how to get back on your foot. You know what I mean? You don't want to be in a predicament where you've been with someone your whole life so you don't know how to survive on your own. Like I was just saying, you want to live alone and when, you, when it's brought to another person or individual that you want to be in your life, then you could kind of give your all to them and you will you will actually know yourself like you're bringing them into your world doing concealing onto highlighting 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 i'm gonna use my pro long wear in in c45 One pump should do it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to take this Sephora brush. And it's one of their professional brushes. I don't know. It's all it says is professional. Long story short, babes. Being single and living alone is nothing to be afraid of. It's actually something you should want to do. And if it's not... You need to reevaluate why, because that's what's going to make you kind of find yourself. Living, me living alone right now, like literally, I know exactly how to love myself. Like I told you guys in my other chit chat, I'm very content with everything that's going on in my life, which is great. If someone did come into my life, I could give them. 120% of Kimberly because there is nothing else going on in my life that is taking my time away And I know who Kimberly is I I like I can and when I meet this guy I can straight up be like, okay Kimberly, this is Kimberly. I work. I do YouTube. I love doing that. I love weed and I love my natural hair Do you want this? You know what I mean? Like that's how you need to be in your life. This is what I like. Um, this this is this is what I like. So, is this the type of girl you like? Do you like a girl with natural hair? Because that's the girl I am. You know, I want someone that's going to pretty much love and compliment me. But yeah, you need someone that's going to like compliment what you love to do. If you don't like that I do this, or you don't like girls that are on social media... Or that wear weaves or love to do her hair or will probably have makeup and hair and stuff all over the place. Which I know people don't like. But you know, if you're not okay with that, you know, 
I know that I wouldn't be the perfect person for you. I know myself. So I could give anything else other than that, boo-boo. We can work together. We got this together. You know what I mean? <sighs> it's a relief. The bad thing, though, about being alone. Actually, there's no bad thing. I'm not going to even lie. <laughs> I was just about to say, because, <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a bad thing. I can tend to get in the habit of not washing my dishes. <laughs> just be honest with y'all. <laughs> I can get to the point where like there are dishes that need to be washed and there is clothes that need to be washed and I won't care because I live alone and who gonna check me, boo? You know, you don't you don't need to do that because you need to keep your house clean at all times. But so you gonna keep cutting off on me like that. We come to one with my favorite stick, bro. You already know. We're gonna take this Ziva brush. This contour brush. This is what happens when you start talking to yourself because you live alone. <laughs> yeah, start talking to yourself. But that's good though. Make your own decisions. You know what you want in a man because you're used to making your own decisions, man. That. Whew. Anyway, let's not talk about the single life too long. We start rubbing off on y'all. You know, you know how that goes. I was running through the six with my woes. 